What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. Um, we are about to paint the engine bay. I went ahead, I wiped everything down. I came over here, I laid some water down on the floor, wherever there was concrete. I put up a fan to get all that spray out of the garage. You guys can see it's all wet all over the place. Uh, the good thing is that when you wet the floor, there's gonna be no dust particles that are gonna come up and get on your paint. And also, any paint particles that go down on the floor are not gonna stick to the floor because your, your floor is wet. The bad thing, that humidity, it might start to form humidity and that humidity might stick to my paint. That's the only bad part. But I need to protect this concrete because I do not own this property and I don't wanna lose my security deposit. So, I have to protect all this. Um, I went ahead and I got a little white outfit I got this when the baby was born and I saved it and it's pretty good for like painting, little painting projects. So I'm going to wear this and we are going to start painting here. I am going to go live on my phone in a little bit so you guys can see behind the scenes me making a video. And we are going to be using the gun that I, that I showed yesterday in my other video. It is completely clean and it's ready to go. The only thing is that I have uh, to set it up a little bit. That's the only thing. Um, we are going to be shooting at 30. And right now it's at 60. But when you pull the trigger on the gun, it goes down to 30. And when you keep holding the trigger on the gun, it stays at 30. So that's basically what we want. We want a consistency of 30 at all times. So I'm gonna go ahead, mix my paint. Remember, it's eight to one, like I showed in the other video. We're gonna mix it in here, swirl it, slap a filter on the gun, pour it over the gun, and do some test patterns on the inside of this cabinet, on both sides, until I get that football shape. And adjust the gun, adjust the fan on the gun. So we're gonna do a quick time lapse and when we get to the spring, I'll take you guys off time lapse. everything mixed up it's in the gun I do have a little bit left over and I covered up with 
this plastic just laid it over like that just in case if I need any more um, it's only a little bit like like this much barely anything but we do have the gun completely loaded up and we are gonna do some test patterns right now we're looking for that football shape so I'm gonna throw on my mask we're gonna plug her up and start shooting right here on the side of the door looking for that pattern That's the one right there. That's my football shape right there. All I did was adjust the top knob. So I backed it out all the way and then I adjusted it about two and a half turns in. And I created that right there. That's the pattern I want. And this stuff looks green. Everything's mixed up though. Alright. I'm going to go ahead. And throw you guys. Up here somewhere.
So here's the first coat. It's looking very nice. Pretty shiny. I'm gonna go ahead and slide underneath the car and I'm gonna get on the inside and I'm gonna start spraying and laying paint all over. So I just terminated my live stream and I laid my second coat and it is extremely, extremely glossy right now. I'm gonna wait half an hour. If this glossiness starts to dull out, then I'll go ahead and lay some of this clear coat that I have. Remember, this is a single stage paint, paint job. Um, doesn't require clear coat. But if I have to, I will spray some clear coat. Get out of here, bug. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up. Start to uh, clean the gun, pick up everything, and then we'll see what it looks like. It's been about 45 minutes and it does look pretty shiny, I do like it but I wanna see if I could get more of a shine. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mix my clear coat. This one's four to one. That's how we're gonna mix this, four to one. 
and then we're gonna go ahead filter it onto the gun I already cleaned the gun I disassembled it all the way and reassembled it then we're gonna go ahead get that football shape that pattern shoot it in here and then we're gonna go ahead and lay three coats the first one is just gonna be a quick mist a mist over everything to turn everything tacky we're gonna wait around 15 minutes then we're gonna come back and we're gonna start laying really heavy really slow coats all over the place so with that being said i'm just gonna start doing it clear coat is mixed it's in the gun and i'm gonna go ahead and start laying some paint First coat was down and I was letting it dry. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lay my second coat. And this coat I'm gonna really bomb. So the engine bay is completely painted and I went ahead and started removing some of the tape. I still got a lot of stuff taped up, but I am very satisfied with the color. And not only that, it is extremely, extremely glossy. It's got some crazy shine to it. It almost looks wet. I don't know if the camera is picking this up or not, but it is super, super wet looking, the whole engine compartment. and the other thing is that this was supposed to be a single stage paint job but after it started drying up i went ahead and i decided to lay some clear and it was well worth it um this does have a lot of glitter in the paint so i kind of want to see what it looks like under the sun i know it's going to change once it's under the sun you probably can't see it on camera any of the glitter but there's there's a lot of glitter in this paint with that being said um this is going to be the end of the video once again and i will catch you guys on my next one my next one will probably be like i said um dropping the engine that's sitting over there dropping the engine back into the civic so I'll catch you guys on my next one. Till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later. Oh, that's fine.